I moved to Korea and I love K-pop. <laughs> that is a crime! <laughs> what? Huh? This lady's reaction is literally my mom's reaction <laughs> to all of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Leave Jimin alone. Korean people love me. <laughs> I just want to excuse myself. This mess, you guys know, we're moving. But come on! Can you even be mad when I'm displaying? <laughs> so, um... Hold on, they can't even see. Okay. Oh, what a beautiful piece of art. So, uh, I got this piece yesterday. To be honest, I'm pretty proud of it. And I was asking Stephanie and her mom how much do they think I spent on this piece. How heavy is this, first of all? It's about like a, like, maybe like a hundred pounds. A hundred? Honey, you can't lift a hundred pounds. Don't be stupid. Oh, uh, 30 pounds. 30 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> 30, 45. Yeah, 30, 45. Oh, she knows because rice bags. Oh. She's comparing it to buying rice bags. This is a, look at the details of it. Honey, beautiful. This is your hijack and then the frame. Money. Look at that. So uh, we thought this was like twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. That's how much it was. Okay. I want everybody to comment at the bo bottom. Comment at the. We'll say Com at the end of the comment. video. Comment. Oh, we'll tell you at the end. Actually, I'll just tell you guys because I can't hold a secret. It was forty dollars. Don't. Tell to keep secrets for nobody, okay? Are they shocked? Are y'all shocked? <laughs> so my mom's gonna be joining us for today's video and I'm really excited because you guys might think that I get this very, very certain char characteristic from my mom. My luscious, thickums hair. You did not get Mama? it from your mom? Anybody? No? Nobody? Okay, it was like 50% genetics and 50% custom hair care. You guys know that I recently got a massive haircut. It was down to my butt crack. Anytime I showered, it was going in between the butt cheeks. It was kind of uncomfortable. And it was also dyed brown. So I freaked out, got it chopped off, also dyed it back to black. And it was this whole process of, well, I want to make sure that my hair is not fried. I want to make sure that there's no damage on my hair because now it's a lot shorter as well. There's not much I can trim off, which is why I changed it up with my function of beauty hair care goals because every time that you get your order of function of beauty you can switch up what you want so this time I put I want it moisturized I want protection heat protection I want scalp care because I dyed it I want all of that it's a very quick but thorough quiz that you guys can take by clicking the link in my description and then function of beauty's team will customize the formula that's perfect for you because everybody's hair is so different my mom actually uses function of beauty and this is how different we are right she's got complete completely different hair care goals. She decides, you know, I want volume. That's what my mom cares about, is volume. And she also hates fragrance and any shampoo or conditioner. Me, I love scents. And I can even custom my scent. Gone are those days when you walk into a drugstore and you love the idea of this shampoo, but you sniff it and it's like, that's giving me a headache. That's a bad smell. You can actually choose between the beautiful scents of like eucalyptus, rose. May I interest you in some tropical mango? And you can even choose the strength of that fragrance and you can write your name on the bottle because if you've got roommates or my fiance, his is function of panda, mine is function of bad bits. I also love their hair mask now. And I also have a really sensitive scalp, so this is dermatologist tested. I have never had a problem where I got like dandruffy because of it, never got a little bit sensitive. It's always left me just feeling perfectly moisturized. They use only clean ingredients, no parabens, no sulfates, no GMOs, no toxins, and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free. I have switched over my entire family to Function of Beauty and they have been loving it, especially because it's just so custom. So if you want thick arms, luscious hair, like yours truly, click the link in my description so that you can get 20% off of your Function of Beauty order. And thank you Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video and let's get into it. Mama, mm -hmm. Mama, quick question. Mm -hmm. BTS members, mm -hmm. you yeah. know? I asked my mom if she knows all the members of BTS because it's kind of important for today's video. Two, two she knows two. What? Who? 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 Jimin? B? B and Jimin. Jungkook? Jungkook! 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 That's my cousin. Hello there. <laughs> Oh my god, she reads her comments uh. and apparently someone had left a comment that Hyunwoo looks like Jungkook. I thought your mom said, I thought Dennis. Hello there. <laughs>
Okay, could have That's been... enough. She knows the most important person for today's video. Oh yeah, for today's video. You're about to piss off the rest of the stands, okay? For today's video, she knows a very important person. So today we're talking about Ollie London. We're actually not talking about Ollie London. We're just uh, reacting to them, essentially. Because that has been a comment that I have recently gotten quite a bit of. I just want to preface this video, video by saying I don't really know much about them. I know that they have caused quite a bit of stir in the Asian community, in the K-pop community, in the Dr. Phil community, just doing the absolute <laughs> most. I do know that there is uh, just a lot of drama surrounding this person. They had a problem with Black Lives Matter in the sense of I think they tried to exploit it. I think they tried to fetishize Ooh. Asians. I don't know. Honestly, I'm just going to be straight up with you. I don't really know. So today we're going to find out. And I'm going to find out with my mom. <laughs> because what better way to subject myself to internet torment than with my mom on my side, you know? So I just kind of filled my mom in and myself in because prior to this, uh, this was like my first time. I had seen snippets of on the news about what Ollie London was doing on TikTok. I saw some snippets, but I actually just watched uh, with my mom their YouTube videos. So we've kind of got filled in. We're going to try our best to remember to respect their pronouns. Which my mom. They them Korean Jimin. Yeah. They them Jimin. Korean Jimin. <laughs> also, side note stream permission to dance. Back to regular content. <laughs> Is it bad? Is it bad? It's like the like the words that they're using is really bizarre. Imagine if I just sat here and was like, Hey like, brother, hello, love you, sister, cute, 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 cute. Like, you're like, like, is that it? Yeah, they're just throwing out random phrases. <laughs> like, there's no sentence, there's nothing. Tell me you're Asian without telling me you're oh, Asian. Oh, no. Thank you, Seo. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to What is it? What is it? Literally, tell me you're white without telling me you're white. Hello, my name is Karen. Pizza, cupcakes, love you, break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> like that doesn't really tell me you're white, I don't know. It's just really bizarre. I think that goes to show that maybe they, um, I don't know, like can I say that they're not Korean? I'm scared of being canceled, I'm Korean. <laughs> I'm really scared, I'm scared, okay? Korean because when I see that little TikTok trend of like tell me you're Asian without telling me you're Asian uh -huh. I envision like house slippers like cultural things house slippers did you say house slippers cultural Chincha, Chincha, Opa. Chincha. you really think I look better like this okay if you think I look better I'm gonna stay this way just for your Opa. starting here excuse me it's happening I hope you have the most amazing day ever I've made you this beautiful cake Happy 25th birthday. I'm gonna sing to you in Korean as well, Jimin. Are you ready? Sang yuchuk ga, hamni da. Sang yuchuk ga, hamni da. Sang yuchuk ga, hamni da. Yay! Happy birthday, Jimin. Should we blow out your candles? Yay! <laughs> Jimin wasn't impressed. <laughs> Tell me you're Korean without actually telling me you're Korean. <laughs> 안녕하십니까? 나는 지민입니다. 나는 한국 송사님. Oh no, she didn't. <laughs> Love Jimin without telling me you love Jimin. I'll go first. Leave Jimin alone. Oh my god! My mom is so lost right now. Oh, my mom is so lost right now. Oh, my mom is <laughs> so before these TikTok videos, I showed my mom 
like the interviews, Ollie London's channel, and the whole time, I mean, she was so <laughs> compassionate. She said, you know what? If that's how they feel, that's how they feel, and I'm not gonna tell someone how to feel, you know? And she said, okay, so that's what I said in the beginning, uh -huh. but the more that I watch these, Getting a little annoyed. <laughs> Getting a little annoyed. I think it's almost like they're trolling. Yeah. Like they're saying like, my name is Chimin and I'm a Korean teacher in the most broken Korean. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even come out and say I'm a Korean teacher. Like what the heck? I, do, I am not fluent in Korean like that. I can't teach anybody Korean. So I think it's just like the what? Yeah. I think it's like the cockiness of it all. Mm -hmm. It's not even um culture appreciation anymore. It's like this weird cockiness. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh. My mom has such a good point. Okay, so she's saying like in all these TikToks, they keep saying that they want to be Korean, right? That they identify as Korean and wish that everyone accepts their identity. And what my mom is saying, well, if they keep trying to learn and like people can see, oh, this person like f loves Korea. Just like wants to know everything about the culture, the environment, like wants to absorb themselves, you know? Maybe it's bizarre and a little strange at first, but people could come around. It doesn't hurt anybody. But uh, she's saying that <laughs> that they know a handful of words and they just uh -huh. keep screaming it at the camera. So she's a little bothered. There's no like real genuine, oh man, this person like really just fucking loves our culture. Because I will see a lot of TikTok videos where people are like, oh, like look at what I saw in Korea. Like look at this Korean food I'm eating for the first time. And I feel like so appreciated. I'm like, oh my God, people love Korean food. But this doesn't really feel like that. Nanun Kiyomi, Nanun Aiko, Nanun Kawaii. Kawaii, Kawaii. Kawaii <laughs> in Japanese, right? Yeah. Wait, so the whole time it was all Korean. Yeah. And so the Kawaii. They're also not really saying words that make sense. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you would say like I'm charismatic, but they're saying I'm charisma. It might be confusing to pronounce him, so I'm gonna show you. Repeat after me. Oppa. Oppa. Appa. Appa. I triggered. Did they mispronounce right after? Yes. <laughs> so Oppa. Appa. Uh. Appa, ow. It's like, ow, appa, I'm in pain. Uh -huh. And then, appa, dad. And what did they say? Appa, appa. <laughs> dad, dad. <laughs> they said, oppa, appa, appa. <laughs> appa, appa. Majoyo. Majoyo. What? I'm correct. <laughs> <laughs> My mom went from like, she had her glasses on. She's like, listen, I understand everyone. <laughs> Takes a while. Now she's, matte, <laughs> matte. <laughs> They said they're right, huh? <laughs> She's like getting heated, I can tell. Oh, my name is Jill. Hello. I'm Jill. 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 i am jill 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 i am what? Huh? 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 Oh. oh, she said, same as that lady, she don't know. <laughs> but also, this lady's reaction is literally my mom's reaction <laughs> to all of this. <laughs> <laughs> this is my mom the whole time. So this is from a YouTube channel called Thoughts and Prayers. I like it. You are lying to me right now. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Either tell me the truth or shut up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? Whoa. How are you doing? What, 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 what was that? Uh, 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 nice to meet you. Oh, that was good. Not good. <laughs> Acceptable. Korean people love me. Korean people love me. <laughs> <laughs> love no love. <laughs> no love. Because if I see Ollie London say sorry, I'm okay. the one. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it. Okay, I'm gonna lose it. This is my age. This is my sign. This is where I live. This is your age. Here's where you live. Here's what you are. <laughs> Hello, Isaac. Great to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. No, thank you for reaching out to us. I think this is the first time we've ever gotten a chance to actually interview somebody who's reached out to us first. Oh, really? <laughs> what was the most like interesting part of like the Korean culture or the language? Mm, I think um, the, um, um, 
Korean people are so uh, the, um, um, just so incredible. Okay. <laughs> Me like f <laughs> I gotta go talk to my mom about it. I'm sweating. What's one thing? <laughs> anyway. I moved to Korea in 2013 oh, and I fell in love with K-pop, fell in love with BTS. That Thank is you. not natural. That is a crime. I'm happy. Like that is a lot. <laughs> Maybe it's out of context, but uh, they said I moved to Korea and I love K-pop. <laughs> If you look at the pictures of me and Jimin, it's we're identical. <laughs> <laughs> identical. No, no, you're not. <laughs> when I was in Korea, everyone calls me Jimin when I'm walking down the street. Everyone's like, oh my god, it's Jimin, Jimin. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah. Oh my god, Jimin. I have a deep respect for Korean culture. <laughs> Cultural appreciation, not cultural appropriation. That's not Hanbok, right? That's not Korean. How can I say I am your biggest fan? <laughs> Again, none of this would be funny. If anything, we'd be like, that is so cute. Someone is really passionate about learning Korean. But this is their tutor. Their Korean teacher. teacher. Whoever believes that. <laughs> Hold on. Jankan. Jankan. Is my Korean better or Ali's better? <laughs> Ask her. Is my Korean better or Ali's Korean better? Oh, my mom said that you're so good at understanding Korean. Sometimes we'll be talking about something that it's not uh, like things he would know. Like I'm not saying like, oh stop, like let's get the tteokbokki, like words that he would recognize. But I'll be like, oh is that what your mom said? Like this aunt did this and then this person said this and then this family friend did this and that was family drama. I'm like, how the f- <laughs> so I pick up some keywords and then I tell uh -huh. by your body okay. language. But the only way to tell is yeah. if you say, Oppa, 사랑해요, fighting, 귀엽다, pyong That's the only way. Ready? Oppa? <laughs> no, never mind. <laughs> Do it again. Pyong pyong. Ali London Christmas in oh. Korea. Hanguk modern bundel? Merry Christmas, doseo. Deseo, like a half. Merry Christmas. Like half a Merry Christmas. They said a doseo. <laughs> no captions available. No, no captions available. Oh no. Are you gonna get copyrighted? By Ollie London. I swear to God, Ollie London copyrights this video. You're not Korean. Okay, Korean Koreans don't copyright other Koreans. Korean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting canceled today. There is one day shining bright. Oh, Jimmy. I don't even know what's happening. What, you don't like it? I don't know what's happening. You don't like happening. it? It's a bop, honey. Heart of Korea. Mm -hmm. What is that? My aunt doesn't think that's Korean close. So the song is titled Heart of Korea. <laughs> this was a year ago, but this feels like one of those skits that you might do like 10 years ago and then in 2021 you get cancelled for because it's heavily xenophobic. Like even the edits look like stuck in 2000 or something. Yeah. But um, I guess let it, let it go. I think those are stock videos, babe. Yeah. Those are like stock footage yeah. <laughs> that you download. <laughs> <laughs> the heart of Korea. They're not singing? Yeah. It's, what it's, are they doing? Just so showing me stock footage of Korea? <laughs> yeah. At least put one of my fucking Korean vlogs <laughs> the stock footage. So this is another song called oh, Korea Boo. How many songs <laughs> do they have? Yeah, how many? <laughs> I think more than BTS. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Hey you, what are you gonna do? Korea Boo is coming for you. For who? For you? Oh, you're Korean. Yeah. They're, they're coming for you. Yeah. Okay, this is like really annoying. I think like the first couple of reactions were very lighthearted, but I think this is really annoying. They're holding a bag of kimchi. It's not pertinent to the plot, nor is it in the song. Just want to end it with a quick little thing, okay? I have no thoughts or opinions. All I have to say is that um, if you believe that you are a different nationality, if you think that you're Korean and you have a lot of Koreans online telling you that you're not Korean because you're being disrespectful, then maybe you should listen to them because these are people that are immersed that are part of this culture that you claim to love so much. That's all I have to say. That was the most wild video is I filmed your, in a is while. Your mom okay? She <laughs> said the more that she watches them, the more she's annoyed and upset. I think it's just disrespectful. Mm -hmm. My mom says if you want to be Korean, like let's say, right, that's how you feel, you feel Korean, you want to be Korean, then there's got to be a level of sincerity that Koreans can feel. That's so true. that it shows off, like it's like a respectful, yeah. genuine interest and not a troll, not exploiting, yeah. and not just being kind of a dick. That's the tea for today. Don't cancel me. Don't cancel me. And don't cancel my mom, okay? <laughs> also, if we do have strong thoughts about Ollie London, we are not including it in this video, so please don't get mad at me that we're going easy on them. I just don't want to, like, stir some shit. Make sure you check out Function of Beauty in the description, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!